What's going on guys, so in today's video we're finally doing the in-depth look at Larry's exhaust. So if you saw in the previous exhaust video, we did the True Dual Catback Straights. And that was, on this truck, four factory cats, True Duals, two and a half inch piping out to the five by 14 inch exhaust tips, I think they are. So you had the four factory cats and it gave it a good, I'll put some clips in here, but it gave it a good mellow, you know, it, choppy but yet muffled sound. A good daily driver, not obnoxious. You could hear it, it was enjoyable, but it just wasn't loud enough for me. So now we are rocking the pre-cat back true dual straights and that's the front two small cats and then straight pipes all the way back. Going from the four to the two, it's huge. It's, it's a, <laughs> trust me, it turns into a nice mellow daily driver and then into a full blown clap wagon. So I will be the first to admit it is not the prettiest thing in the world, but and I've got some exhaust wrap on there. So there's our pre-cats. And then it's just straight pipes all the way back. True duels, two individual pipes going all the way back to the, what I think are five by 14, five by 16 um, exhaust tips. And for anyone that asks, I get people asking all the time, like, what do you tell the exhaust shop? Well, I just go into the exhaust shop whenever they get it on the rack. And I go in there, I hold the exhaust tips up. I'm like, hey, can you stick it here? If they can, great. If not, you know, you sometimes have to change it because, Sometimes you run into issues with the leaf springs on certain model trucks will get in the way of the exhaust so they can't angle it the way that you want. I like my exhaust tips tucked away. Nice clean look. You know, I just like being able to see the uh, like the bottom portion of them. I just think that looks the best. I'm going to get this thing cleaned up. Um, Lauren's going to help me film, so big shout out to her. And then y'all should hear exactly what it's like. Pre-cat, true dual straight pipe. Boom. Just like that, Larry is looking pretty daggum good. I don't know if I showed y'all the entire um, go into the car wash ordeal, but I'm sure I showed you a quick snippet of it. That was a complete fail. But Larry is looking pretty good, and it's time to uh, it's time to go film some exhaust clips. Let's do it. <laughs>
loud, too loud, not loud enough. Be honest. Do you think it sounds good though? This truck is so freaking loud.
right guys well hopefully you did enjoy if you made it to the end of this video i'm absolutely blown away you are truly an exhaust enthusiast and you love a good v8 sound so i absolutely love the way larry sounds i think it's the best sounding even out of the mustangs it's it's probably the best sounding revving setup truck engine car whatever ever like i freaking it the revs on this when you rev it up it's got all those pops and stuff like dude it sounds freaking insane um, i love it when it's choppy going down the road obviously sometimes it's kind of hard to predict when it's going to chop and stuff um, i guess it's good and bad it's not like let's say a straight pop 57 chevrolet where immediately as soon as you touch the throttle it's like full loudness clapping which is cool in some cases it's good it's easy to film um, whereas this it, when you're getting on it it likes to still take off pretty quickly i did forget to mention that if you saw the check engine light that was on before I did this exhaust work, so I can't say for sure or not whether or not that will trigger your um, check engine light. Probably will, but I don't know. I've got all, all my O2 sensors hooked back up with the extensions, but I don't know. It was already there. I haven't read the code. Probably should do that. Dude, this thing. I just filmed the revs, and I just filmed a couple drive-bys, um, which y'all probably saw way earlier in this video, and the freaking police, the sheriff, I didn't have my seatbelt on, and I know that's why he was flashing his lights at me. Um, I pulled off the road to do a little flyby. Obviously, I wasn't going very fast. Um, I'd only been on the throttle like two, three seconds. And maybe he saw my speed climbing on his radar. I'm not sure. But he turned on his yellow or orange lights, not the police lights, but his yellow or orange, like caution or whatever. Maybe that's because he saw, didn't see that, or he saw that I didn't have my seatbelt on and was like, yo, I saw you. Here's your warning. Or if he saw me like, oh, this guy's out here hot riding. I'm going to give him a little warning. I don't know. I thought for sure I was getting pulled over. I don't even know if it got it on camera. If those lights might be directed just back on the car, not in the front. I don't know. But um, yeah, y'all been asking for this video forever. I've been meaning to do it, but I wanted to get a lot of footage for y'all to have a true in-depth look at this thing. And uh, hopefully I did all aspects inside, outside. I mean, it's a freaking clap wagon and it's it's just fun um <laughs> i say this all the time Ooh, i left my lights on i don't i wouldn't necessarily enjoy this i don't think as an everyday vehicle at my current age if i had this when i was 16 <laughs> duh no problem i would have absolutely loved it every second of every day um but i thoroughly enjoy it every time i drive it which is you know once or twice a week probably um, whereas baby squat is the perfect daily driver because it's loud when i want it to be loud and it's fairly quiet when i want it to be quiet so Anyways, I think Larry, Larry's, the revs just blow me away. I could, I'd sit there and listen to the revs all day long. It just sounds so freaking killer. Um, but we're definitely going to have to do some, some exhaust battles here soon. A lot of fun stuff coming from Larry. We've got a lot of, um, a lot of small mods and stuff coming to it and to Baby Squat coming in the future. It's going to be sick. Oh gosh, there's some extreme lightning going on. So I'm going to quit holding my GoPro up to the sky before I get zapped and y'all never see this video. So definitely comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I will see y'all in the next video.